Hi, welcome. Today we're going to talk about power and a couple of different formulas to make sure you understand how they all fit together. Um, so, to start off, power equals voltage times current. We symbolize it P equals V times I. Power is measured in watts. Let's make this a little smaller. So it reacts so slow. I'm sorry. There we go. So our triangle for power power on top current and voltage on the bottom. So um, if we have something that has hundred and twenty volts and it has a current of two amps Then we have 120 times 2 equals 240 watts. So if we look at current and voltage, since they're multiplied together, they're inversely proportionate. So as voltage goes down, Current's got to go up to keep the same number of watts. But if uh, current is the same, if I increase watts, if I increase voltage, my watts goes up. Okay. Um, so how does that deal with resistance? So since voltage is equal to Ohm's law equal to I times R, current times resistance. We can substitute in for V. So we have power equals I squared times R. Or If we substitute, uh, if we rearrange voltage, Ohm's law formula, to say current is equal to voltage divided by resistance, we can look at power as um, we substitute v, I, v divided by R in for I, and we have power equals volts squared divided by resistance. So what this shows us is that resistance and power are, inver are inversely related. Because as power increases, if voltage stays the same, as power increases, resistance has to decrease. So as resistance decreases, current state current will go up 
because voltage stayed the same. And that leaves us with um, more power because current times voltage is more power. So that is power in a nutshell. So let's say we have a light bulb that has uh, 200 ohms and we're running 120 volts through it. That's the volts of an outlet. Uh, we could do 120 squared divided by 200. And that's going to give us the wattage of the light bulb. And that is a 72 watt light bulb. You can try some of this on things at home. Uh, if you look at a 100 watt light bulb, how much current is going through or how much current is going through the light bulb and how much resistance does it have? So if we look at um, power divided by voltage squared, gives us resistance. So if you take a 100 watt light bulb and divide it by 120 squared, I messed up. That's not the right formula. So, um, Resistance, if we look at our triangle, voltage squared is on top, power and resistance are on the bottom. So, um, if I want resistance, it's going to be voltage squared divided by power. So voltage squared, 120 squared divided by 100 equals the resistance. So there are 144 ohms in 100 watt. So how much current is flowing through that? Current is uh, equal to power divided by voltage. So 100 watts divided by voltage, 120 volts. equals 0.833 amps running through that light bulb.
pretty cool. You can you could go around with 120 volts of your outlets for the electrical thing and determine how much voltage how many amps are running through each of your appliances. That would be pretty cool. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is current. We talked about current briefly as uh, the flow of electrons. Okay, so the with the flow of electrons, we have two types of current, DC versus AC. And yes, that's how the band ACDC got its name. Um, DC is direct current, meaning the current only flows one direction. AC is alternating current, meaning the electrons flow in opposite directions. They go back and forth, 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 back and forth. 60 times a second. And that's what our electricity refers to as 60 hertz. That's the frequency that the electrons change direction. Now, electrical appliances have to be working to... The electrons have to be moving for it to be powered on. So anything operating on alternating current stops and starts 60 times a second. Okay, so uh, your TV that you see is operating at 60 times a second. So that means that it goes and stops 60 times a second. You should check out the slow-mo video from the slow-mo guys on how TVs work. Uh, just Google slow-mo guys, how TVs work. Uh, it'll be really cool. You'll be able to see what they mean by refresh rate and slow motion. It's really, really cool. So, um, That's it for electricity. Uh, if you have any questions, please visit me on YouTube Live uh, between 10 and 12. Um, at some time between 10 and 12, I'll send out a notification when I'm on. All right. Have fun calculating. I will see you later.